Hey, welcome to 2010 uh, Winter Nam um, here at the JDK Audio booth at API. And today we have a new product I want to show you the new uh, JDK R22. The list price on it is $1,195, just like the other rack product in the line. So we have some very cool features about this. It comes from our live sound console, the Paragon. We actually pulled it out. The compressor circuit was so well revered in the live sound market, we put it in this uh, JDK. It comes with uh, some analog meters, as you can see. It also has the patented thrust circuit, as we would find in the API 2500 or the API 527. What that is is a uh, it's a filter before the RMS detector, which allows you to do heavy compressing without pumping and also gives you clarity on the top end. It's quite, a, it's quite a nice feature that we've actually incorporated in the API. Stereo, it can be linked, has a link feature, it can be run in dual mono. Again, 1195 also has bypass mode on it. It's, great. it's a great piece. I've, I've personally listened to it compared to some API products, but I have to say it's very, very good. And it's based around that corporation of uh, ECA. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the other products? Yeah, sure, of course. We have the R24 here, which is a dual uh, four band EQ. That comes from an old company called APSI. That actually, APSI was a company that was formed from ex API employees. Uh, that also listed 1195, it's a standard two channel four band EQ. Then we have the R20, which, but it's a dual channel mic pre, again, based around that corporation, DCA, or IC, I mean, and it's uh, really, really good. It's got lots of features to it, as you can tell. It's got a phaser bird mic, and it's got an instrument input. It sounds really, really good. 1195, 1195, 1195. And you're still making a uh, 500 series model? We are. It's over there. It's in the lunchbox. It's a V14. It's this EQ in a 500 series format.